We actually have two cans that came with one already. It's funny that it comes with the can, but not the gun. It is actually very grippy now with that rubber composite. I'm just loving the way this truck is looking now. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're getting back to work on our 1998 Toyota Tacoma. Since we got this thing completely repainted lately, and we even started putting the whole front end together, we gotta get this back end finally put back together. And we gotta get something done with this box. And we actually got something special going in it. Take a look at this. The outside of the box is looking nice and shiny because it's completely repainted, but the whole inside is looking bare and completely original. It is very worn out. We actually didn't paint it for a reason, and that's because we're actually gonna be putting in a complete spray and bed liner kit, and I think that's gonna look awesome. We're gonna start off by getting this thing prepped and ready to get sprayed. We gotta do a bit of a pulling of some of the dents that were actually in this box, and then we're gonna get to spraying that in there. So let's get straight to work. Just to give me space Cause I wanna believe that Ooh, I get lost You go with your day Slowly get closer But you're moving away I know it's just a recap But I'm sure you'll never see that I'd rather take it all back Maybe it's time to get home Think that All right, guys, we just got the whole box all prepped and it's ready to get painted now with that liner. We did put plastic over the whole truck just so that the dust and stuff doesn't settle on it because it does have a new nice paint job. We have the box here for the easy liner stuff and we're just gonna open it real quick, see what's all in it and see how it works. So let's quickly unbox it. All right guys, basically how it is, is we have this little bit of uh, powder here. This is basically what creates the rubber effect. It's industrial strength coating. You mix that into the resin and then add a little bit of hardener and then you spray it. You do need a special gun to spray this stuff and that's actually what I got here. <laughs> that was a sweet. We actually have two cans that came with one already. It's funny that it comes with the can, but not the gun. So we have the gun and we got two cans. So we're just gonna get straight to painting. So let's get to it. <laughs>
All right, guys, it's been a couple of days. We let it dry and it really dulled down and it looks amazing. It turned out awesome. It is actually very grippy now with that rubber composite in there and all that. It's very gritty, but it'll be good for a bed liner. We still have to unmask the whole truck to see the full comparison and contrast from the red to the black. So I say, let's quickly unmask this whole truck. Wow, now that all that plastic's peeled away, you can really see the look of the red on this truck against the black bed liner. And I gotta say, just anything black on red just looks amazing all the time. I'm just loving the way this truck is looking now. As for the actual application of this stuff, this isn't the only way you can apply it because the kit actually came with a roller and a brush if that's how you wanna do it. We just happened to have the gun and it went way faster and it looks way nicer. But yeah, and the reason why we actually didn't go over the top is because we actually ordered some plastic rail caps that are going to be going over top and there were also a couple holes here and there on the top of the rail so we're just going to close that up with a cap and that will look nice and make a really good finish and as for the tailgate you guys haven't seen it in a while and that's actually because we have to do a bit of work still on it and there's a couple other things especially like these factory original flares these are fiberglass flares these are super hard and rare to find and sadly ours is actually wrecked from the accident so we're going to have to be doing a fiberglass repair video on these flares too so that's gonna be awesome so stay tuned for that we still got a lot to do on this truck so subscribe stay notified and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya we gotta get this back end all completely put back to and then we're gonna get to per all right guys it's been a couple days and with late with